Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, for those that are asking about a very specific question, does the updates today fix the famous problem that a lot of people have with the update of last month, which is uh, an update that requires enough space on the recovery partition to install? Uh, and that update, of course, is the famous KB5034441 that you see here on mine it installed. Uh, is, is, does it fix that? No, it doesn't. And one of the main things about it is that this is a standalone update for security that is different from the other cumulative updates. As you see here, it doesn't call itself a cumulative update. It just calls itself a security update. Once again, for a security flaw, if you're using BitLocker, that could be bypassed, um, which the majority of people don't use. So once again, I don't know why Microsoft isn't doing a check and saying if you don't use it, you don't install it. But anyways, no, this doesn't fix it. You still will have that error if you haven't hide the update like I, I've shown on some videos on how to hide it. Uh, and um, the fix for this will come someday. I don't know when Microsoft will fix this. Um, once again, it's a nonsense that you ask regular users to play with partitions. Um, you know, I always get these people like, well, you just use this tool. It's like, yeah, you don't really don't understand what regular users are all about. And you're part of the problem. It's as easy as that because Nobody understands what even a partition is, except people that are uh, more knowledgeable that usually are watching my videos. So um, if you go to an average user, partitions, like what the hell are you talking about? That's, you don't have people playing with partitions with that. Um, so, you know, this will be a standalone fix at the same time. So consider that Nothing cumulative will be of that update fix. It will come on its own, and it will be a fix just for that. So don't uh, expect it within a cumulative update, because if it goes wrong, then it, it really makes the cumulative updates go bad, and then you're in real trouble. Here it's a standalone, so it doesn't prevent the others from installing. It just keeps you know, an error message on that one specifically. That's probably one of the main reasons they actually also made it a standalone update so that it doesn't at least interfere with the rest of the system so don't go crazy guys it doesn't matter okay and just use the hide command that i've shown there's a little download on one of my videos you can just hide it it doesn't show up anymore when you hide it and when will Microsoft fix this? It's anybody's guess. Could it be fixed by the end of the month of February with the bug fixing updates? Not impossible. It could come at any time. But, uh, yep, it's not fixed, and it's still a problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.